Fred Hoiberg made a big announcement today, but this wasn't about this year's, or excuse me, next year's cyclone starters or off-season recruiting. Now, the man lovingly known as the mayor is set to undergo open heart surgery next week. KCCI's Ryan Smith is live at Mercy Medical Center in Des Moines. That's right. Doctors will replace Fred Hoiberg's aortic valve with an artificial one next week. So we came here to Mercy Medical Center to speak with the area's leading heart surgeon to get some perspective. Cyclone fans associate Fred Hoiberg's demeanor with his commanding coaching presence. But Friday, the mayor showed a softer side. Uh, found me face, uh, face down. Um, I was on a blood thinner at the time and um, a pool of blood coming out, and, and she heard the, the crash and, and came in and, and called 911. That frantic call for medical help came shortly after Hoiberg's first open heart surgery back in 2005. It can be uh, potentially life threatening, but it can be treated. Dr. David Hockmuth has performed more than 7,000 cardiac surgeries over 25 years. He says a heart condition like Hoiberg's has nothing to do with lifestyle or diet. It's been there since birth. Some very Prominent athletes have had uh, heart conditions, and uh, if they're discovered and treated, uh, they can go on to live a normal life. Doctors at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota will replace Hoiberg's aortic valve next Friday. And if the aorta becomes enlarged, it's at risk for uh, tearing and leaking or rupturing and bleeding. Hoiberg predicts recovery time will take between four to six weeks and hopes his journey will help motivate others to take their heart health seriously. I was a professional athlete in best shape of my life, and here I am with a ticking time bomb in my chest. One person you know, realizes, well, I have heart history. I have, I'm obese. I, I smoke. I eat fatty foods. Get checked. I've noticed throughout the course of this past basketball season, Fred ditched wearing his necktie during basketball games. Turns out he announced today that was indeed due to his medical condition. He said ditching the tie had a more free, caring feeling during the game because before he would get feelings of lightheaded dizziness and exhaustion. We're live tonight in Des Moines. Ryan Smith, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.